Well, today I have my Union Jack headscarf on. I don't know if you can see that. And you can't see this, but I'm actually wearing a dress and not my wellies. Um, because today is VE Day. It is the 75th anniversary of VE Day. And uh, we're having a little bit of a party in our front garden. My parents had me late in life and they were both teenagers during the Second World War and uh, they remembered it obviously quite well. Um, and they went through some incredibly tough times during the war um, and it had a lasting effect on them. So I think remembering it is, is very important. So we're having a get together in our front garden because we're in the middle of a pandemic so all big street parties are not happening. So we've printed out some flags and we've got our Welsh flag up here because everyone should have a big flag and um, we're sorting out some celebrations for later. One of the things that we're going to do to celebrate the E-Day is while we're having our little get together we're going to call up uh, two of our other children that live far away and far far away on uh, Zoom or Skype or something. I'm not sure which medium, I've left that to my youngest daughter because she's way much better at that than me, that sort of thing. So we're going to call those up, so they, those up, those up, what a word to say, those two up and so they can join in our celebrations. And then we're having it a little bit later in the evening because um, one of my other children that lives with me uh, is a key worker and she doesn't finish her, her shift till a bit later on. And uh, she works with severely autistic children and she's worked all through the pandemic. And it's um, a pretty demanding job at the best of times. But during the lockdown, it's been even more so because of the restrictions. And of course, the children just don't understand. So we thought what we do is a nice surprise is that when she comes home, we're all going to give her a round of applause together um, to thank her for the work that she's done. I hope she doesn't get too embarrassed. Um, she usually has to come home. She scuttles through the front door, straight up the stairs into the shower, changes her clothes um, to sort of limit the risk that she poses. So uh, she, she might sort of just do that anyway and be really embarrassed, we're not sure, but we hope she realises that we do appreciate, appreciate her and that she's doing a really good job. So this uh, party, we've had to do a bit of improvising because obviously we, a lot of shops are shut, there hasn't been a lot of merchandise and things, and so we've, we've improvised. We've got our Welsh flag up, um, we printed out some flags from off the internet for our bit of bunting here. And then um, I found some handkerchiefs that were red, white and blue. And I did find some tea towels, red, white and blue, although they are a little bit Christmassy. They've got uh, Christmas trees on them, but they are red, white and blue. And I won't tell anyone if you don't. Um, and then we've put together a few snacks. So got grapes and crisps and I got out my, my vintage um, cake stand which occasionally makes an appearance and I think it's really pretty. Put a Union Jack on the top and we've got strawberries and more crisps and then we have um, my mother's recipe of homemade lemonade which used to make me when I was a kid um, but I've made it very concentrated so that we can dilute it either with water or with sparkling water um, and then I have some plum vodka um, which uh, hopefully will go down very well um, and we have to have party ring biscuits because my children say there ain't no party like a party ring biscuit and we have to have them at every occasion so there we are and we have the uh, little table out with my handkerchiefs there. And the sun is shining in the evening. So hopefully it's going to be a beautiful sunset. Well, you, you had... Um... So I don't know if you can hear that, but way in the distance, down in the village, they're having fireworks. But unfortunately, we can't see any of them here, but we can certainly hear them. <laughs> 